Hello traders, welcome back to this series of educational videos that FXCM has for you. My name is David Londoño, I'm a trader and also a market analyst. I want to thank you for being here for such a long time now. Today we want to talk to you about the institutional investors and their role in the financial markets. As you know, they play a significant role in them. They provide liquidity, stability, and influencing prices through their large scale trading activities. They usually often have access to substantial resources, research capabilities, and diversified portfolios. Then that helps them to shape market trends and invest in different strategies. I want to talk to you about these three major subjects about their role. Let's start with the market liquidity and efficiency. The institutional investment. Investors, they contribute to market liquidity by continuously trading large volumes of securities. So this liquidity ensures that there are enough buyers and sellers in the market that reduces transaction costs and allowing investors to enter and exit positions easily. So basically they are running the market through their liquidity provides. Then we have the price discovery and market trends. Very interesting here. Institutional investors due to their size and resources of course, they often conduct in-depth research and analysis to identify investment opportunities as they execute trades based on their findings, their contribute to price discovery, influencing asset price and market trends as well. Their trading activity can signal market sentiment and provide valuable information to other market participants. So it's always most welcome to know what they're doing in the markets, right? Finally, we have the corporate governance and activism and all this sounds weird, but let me explain that to you. The institutional investors will significantly influence over corporate governance and strategic decisions making. So through their substantial ownership stakes in companies, they have the power to vote on key issues such as executive compensations, board compositions, corporate strategies, and so on. And additionally, institutional investors may engage in shareholder activism, advocating for changes to hence shareholder value. Also, their activism can range from private discussions with management to public campaigns. That's for corporate restructuring or policy changes. So keeping all of that in mind, now you can have an idea of what the market is going on and what is moving it actually. So I hope you find this information valuable. I hope uh, you share and also subscribe. Don't forget to click in the like button and I will see you on the next trading session.